Welcome to Empower Your Pattern with President James Hendrick. Member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, success, confidence, and thrive coach, and adversity educator. He'll teach you the patterns of how to enjoy a better and extraordinary life right now, along with ways to cope with the adversities of everyday life. So if you come with us, we'll be ready. Let's fly. Welcome at Pattern Fountains at Mystic Park. Um, I think that this topic is timely for what's been going on in my life and a lot of people's lives lately. Based on what you see on the news and social media and how being tethering to our, our devices so often can lead to problems with mental health. Th this title of this episode is DBE. 48 um, spiritual discernment in the degenerate culture over to you to the theologian David A. Benner this is a question where we have to be wise in how we answer this uh, it would be easy to say well just talk to your parents but this may be a case where parents possibly could be abusive and that's why he's afraid to talk so there's a lot that we don't know and we don't want to give some generic answer that may not be appropriate to the specific circumstances of this young man so here's a principle that can help this young man come to the answer to his question the spiritual gift of discernment is the ability to see not just with natural eyes, but with spiritual eyes. To hear not just with natural ears, but with spiritual ears. This young man needs to learn about the spiritual gift of discernment. So it can operate in his life. And what discernment ultimately means is not just recognizing between good and bad. But discernment is the capacity, the spiritual gift to see the good in someone else that that individual perhaps is not recognized. And it's also the ability to help them develop it. That if this young man will earnestly seek for the gift of discernment, then he will come to know when he should or when he shouldn't talk, what he should and what he shouldn't say because he'll be able to see what he cannot ordinarily see and he can hear what he cannot ordinarily hear there are times when people are silent and they're screaming but you can only hear that if you have the gift of discernment so he may have a, a very sensitive set of issues he has to work through with his parents and he doesn't know how he may need to counsel with a priesthood leader or an advisor who could assist him. I don't know what's needed in all of those circumstances, but the Holy Ghost will help him with that gift of discernment, know what he otherwise would not know, see what he otherwise would not see, hear what he in any other circumstance could not hear. So that may sound like a vague answer, but the answer he needs can only come through that spiritual capacity of discernment. And those are some steps he can take to begin to try to seek for that. Thank you. And I think underlying a little bit in that question is that this young... All right. We're going to have a little fun with this, if you know what I mean. And um, I'm not going to say names or anything like that. But I've had some happenings, some things that's gone on in my life where I have gone off focus and I have not been able to discern spiritually. And it's not just between what's good and evil, but also sometimes between what's good and, and better and best interest for me. 
We live in a degenerate culture. The, the anger, the demands for instant gratification. And I have to be honest with you, um, I think that that's why my stress level has been kind of high. Um, I've decided um, my alter ego is going to take over my political show. If if I decide to, to even have it for a few days, I need to, to be honest with you, I need to recalibrate and focus more on some of the spiritual aspects of my life and really <laughs> look at the lessons I've learned by falling off the path and doing my best to get back on. And I'm just going to be honest with you. The spirit is silent. But one thing I have to say is that the world is screaming right now. I gotta have what I have, what I want, and I gotta have it right now. You better respond to what I want. You better respond to it right now, or I'm gonna find out why. Attitudes like that, or you know, even we all in giggle. Why don't you just compromise this? Why don't you just compromise that? I think that our degenerate culture is trying to take away free will, even among some well-meaning people. And that's why I agree with the theologian David A. Bednar. And this isn't just for teenagers or kids. This is for us adults, too. I think it goes along with what or how we consume social media. Along with some of the content that we consume. I've been talking to Heavenly Father lately. And one thing that he's been talking to me about is this. And that is, he said, Jimmy, first off, set boundaries with people. Let people know that what you will not compromise on, what information you will and will not volunteer. And how you choose to live your life. Because it kind of reminds me of what my friend, um, my college buddy Kevin once said. Opinions are like a-holes. Everybody's got one. Imagine me, you'd be awful harsh. But I think it needs... It needs to take place. All right. Let me tell you something. I tried doing a video on this it, this subject yesterday, but unfortunately, I had so many distractions, and. I think part of our problem is we, we got a degenerate culture that wants to pull us in so many directions. And we wonder why we're not achieving our dreams. And we wonder why we're not happy. It's, it's like we're sacrificing for the wrong things. We're burning ourselves out by not saying no to certain people. We're taking in 
messages and ideas that go against what we believe spiritually. And I think it has a lot to do with all degenerate culture. The news media, social media, entertainment media. Be scared, be mad. Be scared, be mad. And eventually, be scared, be mad to me means be sad, give up. Be sad, give up. And I gotta say this. Because of how things have been with me lately this month, I'm ready to recalibrate my life and just move in. I'm not going to lie when I say that things have been crazy. Things have been beyond my control. And I think a lot of it is because I lost focus. I let some other people and their desires for me get in the way instead of me working on achieving my dreams and finding happiness. And I'm not saying it's it's others. It's also the battle that's going on inside me. And so, that's why I agree with um, the theologian David A. Bednar. We need to study discernment and know how to, to use the gift of spiritual discernment. Not just for the matters of what's good and evil, but often also what's good and better. Because one thing I know about this degenerate culture it will spin you around and turn you in so many different directions till you just feel abused and drained. And to be honest with you, I, that's how I felt the past few weeks. Abused and drained. I've almost thought to give up podcasting and, and going on YouTube. But I realized that no. No. I still have a message. I still have something that God's called me to to do. And I guess because I feel so pulled in, in so many different directions and not focused that there is something inside me saying, well just just give up. It's not working. It's, it's, it's never going to work. But then I have to tell myself, hey, recalibrate. Start taking better care of yourself. Learn to say no to certain people's uh, demands and requests. You have to do that. I've noticed for the past 30 plus years, next, next year will be 35 years, that our our culture is becoming more and more and more degenerate. And we need to do something about it. I'm feeling led right now. And I'm asking you guys to please hear me. Okay, please. This is important for me to teach you. Because I'm hoping that you'll, you'll understand why I'm doing this. I'm talking about faith right now because the degenerate culture does not want me talking about faith. Alright? But listen to me. We don't have to give in to that. We're so much smarter. We're so much better. Okay?
Now I'm telling you something. I do what I do. But we have to we have to discern. Not just between good and evil, which that is very important, but also between what is good and what is better. I want to look at the word discern and see if this matches uh, I want I want to see if this matches anything because this is important that we discern what's going on and I don't care if I go a little bit over. Because we need to know. We need to, dis we need to know how dis to discern. Alright? Because if we don't, we're, we're messed up. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. I finally found the verse. Verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither, neither can be known them. Because they are spiritually discerned. Now, if you will, I want you to think, what does it mean to discern? It means to have the gift of the Holy Ghost as your constant companion. To be aware of, of the mission of the Holy Ghost and keeping the light of Christ in you. Okay? During some parts of COVID, the early days, I was going to have my father and complaining about how bad it was because I was, you know, sheltering in place and everything, quarantine. And I was going nuts. I said to my father, I hate this, you know. But I'm going to do I can't stand this. And this went on for like, I don't know, a couple weeks. And I remember one morning I was complaining and murmuring and having fun. It was kind of like, hey, you know what? If, you keep, if, if all you keep focusing on is the darkness, then darkness is what you get. But if you focus on the light, then light is... It's what you get. Okay. And and, and I, I was plodding along, doing my best. And then that good Friday, I was lonely. And I was at the point, you know, I, I had cried off to have my father all day. And finally that evening, I was angry. I was like, okay, okay. You keep saying to focus on the light. That there's a light at the end of the tunnel. What is this light at the end of the tunnel? I demand to know. And he said, You don't know? You've lost that much focus that you don't know? You should know. Because that light at the end of the tunnel for you is the light of Christ. I need you to start focusing on the light of Christ and everything inside me was screaming how 
But yet, the Holy Ghost was like, hey, get still before me, and I'll teach you how. Get still before me, and I'll teach you how. Yes, things in some ways got worse before they got better. And then, um, in October 2021, um, my congregation in the church went through a boundary split in order to foster growth. And I was devastated. And then a few months later, I found out that my good friend Bishop Dave and his family were moving back to Utah. And I was crushed. And it's funny because for three months, I was crying out to Heavenly Father, I'm lonely. What am I going to do? I'm lonely. What am I going to do? I'm miserable. I'm lonely. What am I going to do? And finally, I went away to Utah for a few days. And Heavenly Father was like, find a purpose. And so for a time, I was doing good. I found, I found purpose. Things were going okay. And then, earlier this year, my father died. And I started complaining again. I'm lonely. What am I going to do? I'm lonely. What am I going to do? I'm lonely. I'm, I'm going to do. What am I going to do? And finally, early last month, I was like angry at my father. I was like, I'm having a tough time following you. This stinks. And how much father is kind of like, really? You're going to go in there with that attitude? He said, you have no idea how I'm about to bless you. And of course, you'll find out in the next episode how I have been blessed. Now, am I saying everything's perfect? No. As I said in an episode that I did last, uh, back in late summer, early fall of 2021, I said this. You can't escape the degenerate culture. But what you can do is find a path to help get you through it where you can tap into the light at the end of the tunnel. The light of Christ. Because I tell you something, if you don't, with what's going on, news media, social media, entertainment media, anything and everything that can, is there that the enemy has to crush your faith, it's there. But I want you to know something. I'm doing this series, Design, uh, design, design Belief Enterprise, because I love you. And we don't have to sit there and put up with it. Okay? Because spiritual discernment is a package deal. It's not just between good and evil. Oftentimes it's also between what's good and what's better. Oh no, Jimmy, come on! No, listen to me. No, 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 Jimmy, hold on. You've been talking about faith the past few days. We're not going to start talking about this soon. Soon. Okay? And I'm sorry. This episode doesn't necessarily give you a hint, but more of them are coming. Listen to me. More of them are coming. Our degenerate culture will crush you if you're not ready to accept these hints, do you understand? You have plenty of them. And more are coming. But I think our degenerate culture has made more or less impatient. And why? Because we're tethered to our devices all the time. And sometimes we're going to shut down and say, you know what? Hey, no more. I got to take care of myself. 
you do too much. I, and I'm not saying be selfish. But what I'm saying is sometimes we got to withdraw from the culture, which is full of degenerate vultures, and look after our spiritual needs. Discerning, once again, between good and evil gifts, but also between good and better. Because our, our degenerate culture, it, it would love to crush us, just absolutely crush us, give us problems, make it worse. And you don't have to put up with that. Listen to me, you don't. And I'm just going to be honest with you. You don't need to just lie down and accept what the degenerate culture says and advance everybody and compromise your dreams and compromise your happiness. I set up design, belief, enterprise because of the wisdom I learned from people like Presley Swaggerty. Okay? Presley Swaggerty, Dr. Stephen Covey, Dan Clark, these people, along with many others. Because it's a design, it's a pattern. If you want to find belonging, if you want to find happiness and meaning, then all of this that I've been talking about for the past almost month and a half, it has to fit in together. But you mean, are we, are we, near, are we not anywhere near the end of the design? We are. Listen to me. We are. After this, we got 22 episodes in this se se series. But I promise you, as it, as it goes on, as it wears on, the, the clues, the keys, everything is going to fit together. But we have to discern. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Till next time, share with Mamacito, Papacito, everybody. Till next time, choose active pursue happiness. God bless you. And remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really, 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 really love you. God bless you, and please have a blessed day.